On the 13th of December 1862, at the height of the American Civil War, two Irishmen found themselves on either side of the Rappahannock River at Fredericksburg. The two Irishmen were old friends, they had been Irish rebels, they had taken part in a rebellion in Ireland in 1848, both had been arrested by the English, sent to a penal colony in Australia, they had escaped from there, went to the United States and at the outbreak of the American Civil War they took either side of the conflict. One of the men, John Mitchell, he sided with the Confederacy. He'd gone to Fredericksburg that day to visit both of his sons who were in the Confederate Army. In actual fact, he had three sons who fought for the Confederacy. Two of them were killed. One of the last one was badly injured. On the other side of the Rappahannock River was a young Waterford man. His name was Thomas Francis Marr. He's the man who in 1848 devised the colours of what is now our national flag, green, white and orange, and he presented it in 1848. Both of them were unaware of each other's presence. And as John Mitchell was leaving his sons and bidding them farewell, he heard the thunderous roar of guns. Mars Irish Brigade was decimated at the Battle of Fredericksburg. The following day when he wrote his report he said that the following day he had 2,200 men that he marched into action. The next morning 218 presented themselves on the parade ground. General Hancock who was passing the parade ground saw three Irish men standing alone and he shouted to him, men form him up in your company. To which one of them replied, sir we are our company. On the night of the Battle of Fredericksburg, a cork born Union captain, his name was Downing, Dennis Downing, he sat gazing into the, the embers of the campfire and his mind drifted back to Ireland. Once more he was back in the heather covered hills of Ireland, its lush green fields and its pure crystal streams. And he began to sing an Irish rebel song. And it was taken up by another Irish voice further along the Rappahannock River. All the Irish in different companies and brigades began to join in the chorus when suddenly across the river a Confederate Irish voice joined in on the chorus. It reached six miles down along the Rappahannock River and all the Irish were at once unified in their love for Ireland. The name of that song has several different names, the Song of the Backwoods. Most people call it Ireland Buys Array. And this is that song. We 
we've seen the wedding and the wake, the pattern and the fair, and light young frames and the dear old games in the kind.